Okay, I don't want to make you cry, but <laughs> if you could turn back time, what will you change in the past and why? If I could turn back time, ah, I really want to change <laughs> two things. Okay, yeah, go but, ahead, share, share, yeah. But I think if if I'd be given a chance to change something in the past, it would be the way I manage my time. Mm. Because right after I won in the national pageant two years ago, if I'm not mistaken, I already stayed here in Manila. Mm. And then my parents were there in Tacloban City. Okay. And the same year, my mom died. Mm. And if only I could turn back time, I would spend more time with her. Okay, and okay. Yeah, because I think that I wasted so much time. But of course, um, I don't really consider it as wasted time because I was preparing for something that time. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure like your mom was very understanding about and she was very very proud I mean you know moms are very yeah, supportive actually, yeah she, she's the one who told me that you should stay here and that, but don't forget about your studies yeah continue just follow my because my mom is my number one supporter and then <laughs> she was the one she's my partner in crime yeah I, yeah yeah I saw your mom remember she was with because, you because <laughs> because um when I was still starting in pageantry, my dad didn't allow me to to join pageants because he told me that I need to prioritize my studies first. But my yeah. mom was there to back me up. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we go to photo shoots for pageants without telling my dad. We'll, Wait, we'll only tell him if, it, if we're going home already. So it's done in secret. <laughs> yeah. You're very, very blessed to have a mom like her, right? So, yeah. like, uh, yeah. So, I'm sure. Like, Gab, uh, tell us, uh, tell us, uh, tell us why your how your mom died and what was the root cause of her death, and also your brother, so that we could also like help those who are grieving with the same situation. So, my brother died in an accident, and then my my mom. Um, actually, I was there the the day she was brought to the hospital. Yes, because um, if I'm not mistaken, I spent the the Christmas break with them. Okay. But then I need to fly back here in Manila for a fashion show. Yeah. That was 28 in the morning. And then my mom was rushed to the hospital 28 evening. Okay. And then when I was in the when I was in the show, um my sister sent me a message and then she told me that my mom is rushed to the hospital and then at first I wasn't I'm not believing her because I left my mom that she's in a very good condition she's not feeling anything she was strong we even had had a party the night before because it was my Thanksgiving yeah. and then she sent me a video I was there in the fashion show she sent me a video and then I don't know what to do at that time mm -hmm. because I already saw my mom lying on a I don't think if stretcher. that's stretcher yeah. Yeah, yeah and they were pumping for oxygen, uh, oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and then they told me my mom they revived my mom already once mm -hmm. and then I revived her. and then after that the moment na nabasa ko yung message, I don't know what to do. I don't know mm. if I should go out in that runway or I should leave. But uh, parang nag-bring back ako sa senses ko na kahit umalis ako dito sa fashion show na to ngayon na, there's no flight going to Tacloban. Yeah. So my so might as well book the earliest flight for the next morning and then finish the fashion show first. So, yeah. I finished the fashion show first. I think natapos kami at around 9 or 10 na. 10 p.m. And then, bumalik. Pumunta ako ng condo just to fix my things. Hindi ko pa nalalabas yung mga gamit na kaka ko pa lang. <laughs> Oo. And then, siguro yung pag ko lang, yung dala ko, bag pa ko lang. As in, bag pa ko lang. Hindi na ako nakapag-rest masyado. Diretso na ako airport. 
And then, yun na, naabutan ko pa naman yung mom ko sa ICU. But then, after a few hours, wala na. So, did she die of a heart attack or uh, pre-existing condition? Ano siya, para na-choke siya and nag-heart attack, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Kasi nag-start siya sa parang nag- my mom's taking her medicine. And mm. then, nag- na bumara siya. Mm. And then, yun na. Okay, so like, with with all of this tragic experience that you have, Gabby, like, how did this uh, mold you as the person today? It made me stronger, to be honest, because right now, my only fear is for that moment to happen again. Mm. But then, other than that, parang feeling ko, I can do anything already. Like, kaya ko nang lagpasan lahat ng ano, ng mga challenges in life. Because, parang feeling ko yung pinaka-painful na is to lose my mom. Yeah, okay. And I feel like saying that, you know, it's always, it's in the Bible that what evil meant for harm, God will use it for the good. And then, here you are now, like, you know, he's actually very proud of you and very grateful that you actually, you know, brought yourself back up. And then, maybe perhaps, you know, start having a relationship with the Lord. So, Yes. Very good, Gabby. You're so beautiful. It's as if you didn't go through all of that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, okay. Number 14. Now, here. What is... You just answered. What is your greatest fear? <laughs> so, well... My greatest fear is, of course, losing my loved ones or anyone close to me. Because I don't think that my heart is ready for that moment to come. Yeah. And because I think it's too soon. Mm-hmm. Because it, um, imagine losing two loved ones in just a, in Fun just months. a year. That was so yeah. hard for me. And then I can say that I am still the pain is still there, of course. But I know that I can get through it. I know that the pain will not be easily gone. But yeah. I know that everything takes time, and I'm taking my time for you. Okay. So right now, I'm not yet ready to lose anyone in my life, and I'm just praying for everyone's sake. Okay. So how about something personal? What would you ask him for yourself? Because like God is always something. Well, I think I know it already. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, aside from okay, aside from the crown. <laughs> Okay, aside from the crown, what what will you ask the Lord, like, um, personally? Um, I want to dream, I want to have a dream of my brother. Mm-hmm. Because I already dreamed of my mom, okay, yeah. like, twice already. But then, my brother, um, he never showed up in my dreams. Mm-hmm. So, I really want to have a... Uh, dream na kasali siya doon and then we will be able to talk to each other. Okay. Because, because wait lang, meron pa pala akong trivia sa inyo, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what I've said earlier? Yeah. I was there the morning before my mom was, was rushed. Rushed the hospital, yeah. Yes. And then, when my brother died, I was also there the morning before he was rushed to the hospital and same same scenario i left at 5 a.m and then i flew back to takloban city at around 2 or 3 a.m in the morning the next day so ayoko nang magbook ng flight ng 5 kasi baka may sumpa siya <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, actually, uh oh. So, I, we're we're very sorry this is happening to you, Gabby. But um, with regards to praying for everyone's information, like, um, praying is really not only reserved for just one hour. Like, every time you talk to God, actually, that's praying. Like, hey, Lord, I want this, I want that. Like, the Lord knows everything what's going on in your mind and in your heart. So, um, sometimes the Lord teaches us to you know bring the heart of confession. Gabby, so that was your dad. Hi, daddy. Uh, to bring the. Narinig mo yan. Hi, Tito. <laughs> so uh, I was going back what I said. <laughs> um, so like uh, the Lord always wants to bring out the heart of confession, meaning even if He knows what's inside your heart, He would actually want you to verbalize it. So Gabby, I encourage you 
now that he actually tried to save you from all of the things that um is happening for you right now and in the past i feel like the lord is really drawing you in and he really wants you to be more personal with him so i pray and i and it's the heart of the lord for you to have a more intimate relationship with god okay so thank you yes last question okay i'm sure